Hey, what's up, guys? <clears throat> uh, right now I'm working. I <clears throat> am updating the styles for the page on a website. Sorry that all you can see is the code, but uh, there's a lot of stuff on my screen that I can't really show you. And, you know, there's some personal information like names and things like that popping up. So, you're just going to have to look at the code and listen to me type. And apparently, listen to the water cooler make a lot of noise. It just started right now, of course. <laughs> okay, so anyway, uh, this code right here, I'm about halfway through. Please don't comment on the quality of any of this. <laughs> So let's see here. I'm going to update the password area. Uh, by default, none of this will show. Uh, and then using, you know, a little jQuery magic, once you click change password, it will show. You might notice, uh, you know, there's no buttons or anything on these classes. That's because I'm not done yet. So chill out. Let me finish it. Uh, I'm using Sublime Text 3, if you're curious about my editor. I believe I'm using the default theme. <coughs> so yeah, let's get to it. So let's remove these old divs. Even though I'm basically going to be adding them in again. Kind of OCD about my indents. Excuse me. Alright. So, by default, I don't want to see this password stuff. So, what do I call this password in there? Anybody know how we're going to do it? That's right, display none. Bam. Okay, the password form just went Ray Charles on me. Can't see nothing. remove this because like I said I can't see it so it's no point in styling blind like I said not going Ray Charles on this <clears throat> and you know what I'm actually going to do too is make it so this text doesn't show at all it'll show and then when you click this this is going to go away and this will show so we'll kind of like replace it <coughs> But anyway, let's just push through. Um, I want to get the basic HTML and things like that in because uh, I still have a, a couple style changes uh, that are going to affect the page width. So no sense getting it like pixel perfect right now because I'm going to have to update it later. So yeah, let's get rid of these. Uh, we don't need these classes. Bit pointless and the button's in the wrong spot anyway. So there we go. Now they're unstyled. Perfect. So right now I have a I have a border bottom on all the section stuff, but I don't want it on the last one. So we're gonna change the last child to border. So basically what that's going to do is, uh, if you look in the HTML, I have all these sections. One here, one here, one here. And basically the last the last section that's a child of this div will not have a border. 
and if you look closely you'll see that that's actually not going to work because I have a form right here so never mind I'll do that a different way later so yeah I'm I'm an expert in my field you know just <laughs> <coughs> okay so oh man this video is a good idea anyway uh Let's clean up some of these classes a little bit, because holy moly. Echo Facebook. You can't see it, but in the right, I'm inspecting the element to see what actually gets echoed right there. Oh, it's it echoes the class connected. I mean, honestly, I don't even know if that's necessary now. Because um, the way I'm going to do it in the document uh, I'm actually going to have, yeah, let's see, can I drag this over and show you just part of it? Uh, okay. Nope, I can't. Never mind. Sorry. Was that helpful? <laughs> also, let me show you guys a cool trick. Uh, if you ever have a checkbox and you have text next to it and you want to click the text and you want to check the checkbox, well, that's easy peasy. Wrap the whole thing in a label. And now it'll work. Or you can do it like what I did here. Give it the name notifications. Tell it the label that it's for notifications. So for notifications right here means look for this sucker. And then the text will be clickable. And you don't have to embed it. Uh, sometimes I like to put the checkboxes in the label. Um, one, it's a little bit quicker, and two, uh, that way I can I can style the label, you know, do like display block or whatever I want, and uh, it has like a nice containing element. Otherwise, you kind of you'll style the label, and then you have this like input checkbox, just like chilling, like a villain, not paying attention to any of your styles, just being you know a pain in the butt. Also, see this right here. Uh, we're using HTML5, so this kind of thing is not necessary anymore. This is a carryover from XHTML. Um, this site has never been written in XHTML, so I don't know who did that. So how you fix that is you delete it and you never ever put it back. So now when I refresh the page that you can't see, there's absolutely no change at all because it doesn't really matter anyway. Uh, it's just semantics, but I like to keep the code clean. Uh, these kind of classes right here, camel case, yeah, not into that. At least not for HTML and CSS classes. You know, for JavaScript and things like that, I think it's okay. Uh, one thing too is you'll see for classes, I prefer dashes. Um, this is kind of an exceptionally long class name. I don't know why it's like that, but anyway, I prefer dashes. But for you PHP experts out there, you can't have function names that are have dashes like that so sometimes you'll see <coughs> mixed uh, kind of names like I'll do that and then I'll do for example profile underscore connect underscore Facebook and that'll just be you know if we're going to target it with PHP or something like that anyway I'm kind of rambling here I'm not really doing the work I should uh, Sublime wants me to pay for it sure there we go <laughs> sorry my chair makes noise anyway uh, Let's get back to it. So, social network connections. This is the wrong style. Just wrap it in a section. Wrap this in a section. And let's get rid of this HR. This is doing nothing for us there. Let's fix this indentation. And that's going to look a lot better now. Oh, yeah. That's the stuff right there. Hostess. Another HR somewhere? Oh, it's this inset right here. Uh, for those of you that don't use Sublime Text, I, I really like it. Um, it's really lightweight, but it's also very powerful. So there's all sorts of plugins and things like that you can install. I don't really have a lot of that going right now because I just kind of use it 
minimally, I guess. Uh, but there's some things I should install. We use Git at work a lot and uh, a couple other things that make coding really nice. And uh, there's plugins for all that stuff. So, I mean, you can even put an FTP into this text editor if you want. Um, you can make it full on Dreamweaver if you're into that kind of thing. So I highly recommend it, and of course, you know, it has the standard like syntax highlighting, which is great for things like, you know, if you mess up and your color looks all wrong, then you know your code is wrong. So now I just have to get rid of this mysterious border that's probably being inherited by a style that's like way too broad. Let's see, so let's inspect this element. And what it is, it is, uh, excuse me, I'm tired. So, profile accounts, 2082, what the heck? So hopefully you can't see my line numbers, because that's going to look ridiculous. <laughs> 